How to create sign up forms for MailChimp. Hey everyone, welcome. I hope you're all doing great. I will quickly just tell you how to create sign up forms within MailChimp. Uh, there are going to be different methods, but um, you can create a landing page uh, sign up form. You can create a, a sign up form that you can embed to your website and more. And I will just basically show you how to do it. Uh, and it's going to be very easy and simple. So obviously, after you create your website, uh, sign up to MailChimp and create, you know, add your audience and all of those things, you would want to create your sign up form to obviously let people subscribe to your uh, campaign. So to do so, we just go ahead to our MailChimp dashboard and we go to create here on the top left. Uh, from here, we will find uh, ourselves here where we can create uh, landing pages and stuff. Uh, we're not going to do those. You obviously, you obviously should have uh, done this by now, but if not, feel free to do so first before we even get started because that's like the actual basics or building the foundations of it. Uh, so what we are going to be actually looking for is going to be sign up form here. So we just click on that and then we will have the three types that we can use. We've got the embedded form, which is going to be basically um, creating a form and then we will just copy the code and paste it to our website. Uh, we've got a pop up form that we can create to our website as well. And then we've got a whole landing page sign up form that we can create. So let's actually go through them. So let's get started with the embedded form. Uh, we just click on it and then we just click on begin. From here, we will, we will have this uh, section in front of us uh, where we should find email address uh, and other s fields here. The only one that is going to be um, like there by default is going to be the email address and it's not going to have any of this stuff. So basically what we will be doing is uh, we can adjust everything in here. So what we can do is actually, sorry, we can actually go to form fields here click on it, and then we can add stuff in here. So we can add the first name, which I highly recommend so you can get uh, or add personalized emails. So add first name, uh, and to make it required, you will just need to click on it. After you check it, you click on it, and then we just click on set as required. Uh, if you want to add help text, you can do so, but for first name, I think it's very self-explanatory. For the email, if you want to add a help text, you can add uh, like example mail at uh, someone.com or something. It's just going to help them understand that this is an email. So uh, with that being said, we can just go back and then we can add more form fields. Uh, I recommend to add the birthday uh, also for more personalized uh, experience for your audience. You can do uh, birthday offers and stuff, for example, with automations using MailChimp later on. So just uh, keep the birthday one on and make sure it is required. Uh, actually, we may not have it required. Just, you know, if you want to fill it in, you can do so. If not, it's up to you. Last name, we don't really need that. Address and phone number is completely up to you. Uh, and yeah, that's pretty much uh, what we will... Uh, have in here and we can just go back in settings we will find uh, the text stuff from in here not all of it just some of it like for example the form title we can change so we can just do um, get your uh, uh, very own offer or whatever it may be to entice people to actually subscribe and stuff uh, or maybe just keep it as subscribe. It's completely up to you. You can change some elements in here as well if you want. Uh, if you want to add tags and stuff, it's completely up to you. But after we are done, so we've got our email, first name, birthday, and the subscribe button. Uh, we can just click on continue. And it's going to give us our code here. So we can just simply copy it. And then we can just go to our respective website and add it to... Uh, our website using the the code so it's very simple and easy so this is how to create a form with the or to embed it with the 
uh, website. Now, if you want to go ahead and go to sign up form again, pop up form is going to be pretty much the same. It's just going to end up giving you a code. Let's go for the last one here, the landing page. If we go to it, we will need to give it a name. So give the landing page a name. So let's just give it a random name. Let's just let's just name it random name. Uh, and then we can select our audience. And now you can have either one or multiple audiences. Now it's not our topic, but just select the audience that you want this landing page to be for. And we just click on begin. We just give it a sec. And it's just going to give us a few uh, templates here for our landing page. We can just choose whichever one we want, like this one right here, where we can just adjust uh, the elements from this landing page. But most importantly, we can adjust the form within it. So you can, you know, obviously change all of those things that are in here. Uh, and you know, make sure that landing page actually looks cool and everything, but then we would need to locate this, which is the form basically. And we just click on it. And then from here, we will be able to add the, uh, after we click on it, obviously we can add the fields and stuff. So, uh, let's just add first name, make sure it is required. We add birthday and let's just keep it off. We don't really need to make it required. Um, for the email address, it's automatically there and it's automatically required. So we can just keep it like that. Uh, if you want to add more stuff like phone number and stuff, it's completely up to you. Here we get more customization options like the button text. Uh, sign up now, maybe. And then we can just send a confirmation message afterwards uh, that says something along the lines of uh, success. You have been added to the audience. Obviously, you would want to change that to make it more of your brand voice. Give it uh, another thing that once they sign up, they will find a confirmation confirmation message. So uh, I don't know, just anything right now. You, you get the idea. So uh, after we are done, we can just obviously style it and stuff. So if you want to give it a background color, uh, you can do so. Or you can just remove it. I prefer to have it more like this. Uh, font and size and stuff is completely up to you. And for settings, you can change the alignment stuff. So we can just save and close uh, and close. And now we've got ourselves our uh, sign up form entire landing page. And you can again uh, edit the rest of the stuff here. Like if you want to change this title, we just give it another title. Same goes for the uh, uh, text here and stuff. So you can just remove it and make sure you customize this entirely uh, for your landing page. After that, you can just go ahead and save and close. And we should be good to go. You just need to confirm that you want to publish it at the end over here, top right. Uh, you can just check all of those things and we can just go ahead and publish it and you should find your um, landing page with the sign up form ready to go. So let me just finish later. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, the only one left that I didn't really show you is pop up form. Uh, you just go ahead, select the audience and uh, we just create it real quick. So this is going to be just something that is going to pop up is going to be exactly the same form and everything. Uh, you can change whatever you want to change by just clicking on it and you can just change the text. And then we can go to email sign up. We can make it um, change the title here. Make sure it is required and all of those things. And we can change the layout from the left. Uh, and we can add more stuff here, like uh, SMS sign up, and this is going to be the final message that they will be getting. If you want to add another form thing, you can just add first name, uh, click on it, make sure it is required, uh, and we can go ahead and add birthday at the end. Uh, let's just keep it not required, and then I think that's pretty much it. So this is going to be the banner. Uh, once they click on it, it's going to be take them to the email sign up. Once they do this, it's going to give them the success message that you can also edit uh, and 
change it to your liking. So you can just go ahead and save and publish again, uh, and you can enter the uh, URL to your website. So that's pretty much all three different ways that you can create a sign up form within MailChimp. Uh, so I hope this video was useful to you and thanks for watching.